Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make an IoT based universal IR remote controller using the ESP8266 and CADIO home automation. As we are using CADIO, so you do not need any coding skill, you just have to upload a format to ESP8266, then configure it from their mobile app, and your IR remote controller will be ready. And of course, I have used their free plan. So after watching this video, anyone can make this home automation project. Now, as you can see, you can add multiple IR remote controller in their mobile app as per the appliances you want to control. Now, whenever you press any button, it sends signal to ESP8266 through internet. Then ESP8266 sends signal to that particular appliances through this IR emitter LED. Thus, you can control all the appliances from your mobile phone through internet without changing any wiring. Now first, let me control this RGB LED. Let me turn it off. Now let me turn it on. Make it red, green, blue. I can also change the mode. Now let me try to control the AC with this controller. And I can also ask Google Assistant to turn off this AC. Hey. Okay. Turn off the AC. Now let me ask Google Assistant to turn on this LED strip. Hey, Google. Turn on RGB LED. You can see the LED turns on. So this is a very useful IoT project and here you can see I have just used the IR receiver and the IR emitter LED with the node MCU. And you can also use this type of PCB to increase the range and you can easily design professional PCBs using the Altium PCB designer software. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. The mechanical team can also access the PCB files so they can parallelly work on the mechanical product package based on your PCB design. And there is no chance of losing design data with the automatic backup and centralized cloud storage. It also helps you to manage your components and get real-time supply chain data for all the components. It also allows multiple people to work on a single project and finally you can send your product to manufacturing with a single click. LTM 365 automates all of these tasks for you so that you can focus on making something creative and useful. And now you can download the free trial version of the LTM PCB designer software from the video description. Now in this way, you have to connect the node MCU with the IR receiver IC and the IR emitter LED as per this circuit diagram. As you can see, the circuit is very simple. I have used D5 for the IR receiver IC and D8 for the IR emitter LED. Now let me connect the node MCU with my laptop to upload the firmware. Now to download the firmware for the ESP8266, you have to visit this page. Then click on downloads. I will share the website link in the description. Now this is the ESP8266 firmware. I will click here to download it. And I also have to download the ESP download tools. Now I will quickly unzip this file. Then open the downloader tool first. Then click here to open the tool. In the chip type, I have selected ESP8266. Now I will click on OK. Now this is the downloader tool. Now from here I have to browse the firmware file, then I will select it and here I have to type the address 0x0. Now SPI speed will be 40 MHz and SPI mode will be DIO. Now I will select the proper COM port. We have already connected the node MC with the laptop. Now click on erase. This will take some time. Now after that make sure this firmware is selected. Now I will click on start to upload the firmware to ESP8266 and again it will take some time. Now it is showing finished so our firmware uploaded successfully. Now we have to configure the node MCU from the CADIO home automation app. You can download the app from the Google Play Store or App Store. Let me open the app. First I have to reset the microcontroller. 
then we have to wait for some time until we notice the leds are blinking now the led starts blinking so we can configure the esp8266 so here i will tap on this three dash icon and select configuration now we have to connect the hotspot created by the esp8266 so here i will tap on this cadio hotspot now from this page we will configure the node mcu so here you can see for the wi-fi led they have selected gpio 16 and for the config led they have selected gpio 2 and for the config button zero gpio is selected i will not change these three gpio pins now here we have to enter the gpio details for the ir transmitter and emitter so i will tap on type and select ir as the type now we have to enter the gpio for the ir transmitter and the receiver and from this chart you can see d5 is gpio 14 for esp8266 and d8 is gpio 15 so i will tap on the transmitter here i will select 15 gpio which is d8 then i will tap on the receiver and here i will select 14 gpio which is d5 i will not do any other changes i will just tap on this tick icon to save it now you have to enter a name then tap on enter now select the wi-fi details first tap on wi-fi name then enter the password then enter a unit name i am giving ir control wait for some time your device will appear automatically on this dashboard so you can see this is our device let me tap on it now here we have to add the controller which is different type of remotes so i will tap here so from this menu you can see you can add different type of remote controller first let me select the light here i am giving the name rgb led now i'll tap on this tick icon in a similar way let me add another remote controller so i will tap on this three dot icon and again select add new controller now i will select the type air conditioner 2 then here i will give the name ac so this is the ir remote controller for the air conditioner so in a similar way you can add multiple ir remote controller as per your requirement now we will configure this controller for this rgb led and this is the ir remote for this led strip and here you can see the node mcu is connected with the wi-fi you can see both the blue led is on and this is the ir receiver connected with the node mcu so first i will tap on this three dash icon then here i will select assign button now i will select yes now in the assign mode i can configure any button with this ir remote so first i will select this button and here i will press this on button you can see the color changes after it assigned to a particular hex code now i will tap on this off button in the controller and press off in the ir remote you can see again the color changes so in a similar way we can configure all the buttons now after configuring all the button as per your requirement tap on this tick icon now i will control this led strip from this mobile app so let me turn the rgb strip to red you can see i can easily control it from the mobile app now i will go to the next controller which we have added for the ac and i will use this ir remote to configure this controller so again i will tap on three dash icon and here i will select assign button then select yes now i will press here to assign this button after that i will tap here again press this button to assign turn off button so as per your requirement you can assign all the button from this remote and after that tap on this tick icon and your controller will be ready now you can also connect google home with the cadio home automation to control this device so let me open the google home app i have already created a home here i will tap on this plus icon now select setup device then select works with google here i have to search for cadio then tap on the cadio now select continue now here i have to log in to my cadio account now go to main dashboard and you will notice our ir controller added successfully in the google home now from here i can also control the led strip let me tap on this button 
you can see it started to turn off it i will tap here again so this is a very useful project if you find this project helpful then please hit the like button you can also follow us on instagram and join our telegram channel you can find all the links in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day